now, we're going to find out more about the Flourish Initiative from its Executive Director, Fiona Buck, and mentee, Anastasia Madden. Ladies, good morning to you. Good morning. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Thank you. This is a project that's been going on since February 2015. Fiona, this is your baby. Yes, Tell it is. Tell me a little bit about why you started it. Okay, at the time I started it, a lot of crazy things were going on in society. I noticed with young girls, one of the things that was a big thing at that time or leading up to that time was the whole thing about the buses, the tinted buses and the mm -hmm. music and what was going on with the girls and the boys in the buses. Then there was also transport center and just, you know, all the craziness going on there. And just seeing young girls, even on the road, the way they dress, the way they carry themselves, it was just so different from the way it was when I was going to school. And it literally broke my heart. I was literally distressed. But then when I thought about it, I said, you know, I think the main reason girls act this way is because they just really don't understand their worth or they just don't have the right kind of guidance. So the poor parents worried about how we're going to find the school fees and that kind of thing. Or they're working so hard, they don't have the time exactly. to teach them those little things. And I thought, mm. you know what? If I could sacrifice some time to sit with some girls and, and just say to them, listen, these are the consequences of your actions. You don't realize it now or that kind of thing. And if I could partner with other people who would help me, you know, to share their experiences, then it would somehow make some kind of difference. I'm curious as to why you went particularly for the girls, because the issue is with the girls and the boys. Um, is it that you just wanted to focus on one group because taking on both was too much, or you thought the girls needed more assistance than the young men? I don't know. I just think I had a soft spot okay. for the girls, but okay. with the consciousness that, yes, the boys definitely need it. But one of my main things is that I think it is men who need to mentor the boys to teach them how to be men. Mm -hmm. And part of the problem in our society, I think, is that boys are being raised by women, mm -hmm. so they don't have the father figure. So but it there definitely... are many, there are some people listening to you who would say there are a lot of boys being raised by, by women and turning out really well. Yeah, that is very true. Yeah. But I still think that we need men, more men, we need more men to then up. to step up, yeah. right, real men to so show. So tell me what has happened, before mm -hmm. I talk to, to Hannah Stasio, what has happened in that, since 2015 to now, two, three year, two mm -hmm. year window, um, what have you managed to do through, through Flourish? Oh Lord, um, we have touched, I was thinking about it last night, probably about 90 girls um, within the Red Hills community in St. Andrew. We have given out scholarships. Mm -hmm. Anastasia is one of the girls who have received scholarships. Mm -hmm. um, it's just had such a huge impact on the, on the community. And it was interesting that you asked about the boys. That's one of the questions that we've been asked a lot, even in the last few months. What about the boys? You're doing so well with the girls. We see the difference, but the boys. So it's really been very impactful, is I would say. Is that something that you're looking to maybe branch out into one day, trying to find a way to see Yes, the boys hopefully can... this year, if it can happen, because yeah. we have the blueprint with the girls, yeah. I think it would just be to just uh, do some adjustments so that it would be impactful for the boys, yeah. yes. So, Ms. Anastasia, it's Anastasia or Anastasia? Anastasia. Anastasia, 18 years old, 6'4", Mad Arden. Um, Bit of a shy fly, eh? for yeah, the most part. For the most part. But how, how is this program helping you to, one, come out of your shell, and two, to kind of um, avoid the pitfalls that you heard Fiona speaking about earlier? Um, I mean, Flourish has been a tremendous program. I think it needs to be praised more. Um, I think any effort to um, build the caliber of the youth in Jamaica is um, worthy to be praised. Mm -hmm. um, Flourish has been so, so, so good for not only myself, but the other girls in the community, their families and the community on a whole. Um, Flourish has helped to build our characters, our confidence, our personalities, helped to groom us into um, being um, young ladies, not girls or you know, but to be young ladies. And I really think that Flourish has helped me to be more outspoken. It has given me a chance to, 
it has opened doors for opportunity. Um, we met persons that we only saw on TV, never knew would meet them in real life. For example, Ryan Mark. So um, I think that it has helped me to come out of my shell. It has helped me to build bonds with not only the girls, not only the mentors that came there, but also with Auntie Fiona. I mean, we can call on Auntie, Auntie Fiona anytime we want. She gives us anything we ask for as long as she can. Um, so I mean, that flourish has been so good for um, the community. It has shed light and it also shows Jamaica that there are persons who are still out there willing to do things out of their own pocket to build the country. Yeah, how did you get involved with Flourish? Um, I heard about Flourish from a family member. I was so excited to become a part of it because I wanted something to do with my summer. And I mean, at first, you were kind of hesitant sitting on Saturday, Saturday afternoon. You could be, you know, home, <laughs> eating, sleeping, watching TV, but with, watching TV yeah. or surfing the web or something. Um, at first, you're kind of all right, but by, I can tell you by the end of the six weeks, you want to go back, trust me. And we ask Auntie Fiona, can we come back? And she's, um, it's a one-time thing. Mm. But I mean, we leave and our hearts are full. We're, we, like, we live with so much. It's a very, very good what experience. What are some of the things that you learn? What are some of those things that made you think, I don't want this to end? Um, they touched on things, etiquette. Um, social interaction, a lot of stuff that when you go out, it's like a record above the rest because I've experienced in this area already. So um, a lot of things that girls weren't ex experienced with, like, um, for example, eating with knife and fork. A lot of girls, they're not trained to do, to do that. When you're at home, eating in front of the TV, you don't really care about knife and fork. But there are going to be times when you, you need to attend functions, Absolutely. when you're going to be needing lessons like that. So, I mean, something as simple as that is a very wonderful experience. She's one of 90. I see you looking at her out of the corner of your eye and I see your eyes welling up because yes. um, this is what happens when you take your time and you invest in young people. And you can only imagine that she will want to, she'll develop that spirit of, of giving as well and want to help somebody else. But let's start Bob on the show because we, we can't, enough oh, ball in, in the last couple of weeks. Um, how, how are you, how you going to keep up with this? What's, what's the help that you're getting? Who is helping you to, to help this program grow? And to flourish. Okay, so initially as a one-woman band, um, with support of family and stuff, of course, but it was really me running the meetings, planning, doing all of that. But a young lady came along, literally reached out to me on Facebook saying, mm -hmm. I love what you're doing and I'm studying social work and I want to get involved in something like this. So Jody came on Is that board. your background? What's your background? Is your background social work as no, well? No. No. Not at all. Studied mass communication. Get out of here. Yes, and I'm in advertising. So it's pretty. So this is literally a calling on you. Right, yeah. I believe so. Yeah. And so Jody came along, and then within the last few months, I thought, well, this really is growing outside of just me, and I want it to be something that even if I move on to other things or step back a little, it still yeah. carries on. And so I now have a committee, so Jody and three other women. So now I can actually have a few free Saturdays because we meet on Saturday mm -hmm. afternoons mm -hmm. and they've been very supportive and I literally believe that they were God sent, mm -hmm. right? And I have a prayer committee as well. Okay, we have to go, but if there are folks who want to help you make Flourish flourish even more, how do we do that? Okay, just reach out to me. 819-1459 um, mm -hmm. is my number. We're on Instagram and Facebook. Um, very easy, Flourish Mentorship. Mm -hmm. So we're very easy to find and okay. Flourish Mentorship Program at gmail.com. All right. You're heading into Second Year Cape, lady. Yes. All the best to you. Thank you. Thank you both for being here. Very, Thank very positive you. way to um, kick off this morning's show. From Flourish, Executive Director Fiona Buck and Menti Anastasia. Get it right. Madden. More on Smile after this. We'll be right back.